Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Try Hack Me Room called Library. We're going to be doing a full walkthrough through this box or through this machine. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And now let's jump into the video and get on the desktop. <music> everyone here we are on my desktop so we are in the library room and remember this is a boot to root this is you know two flags a user flag and a root flag as you can see i already got them but we're going to walk through it anyway i did do this box a few nights ago and uh i have something awesome to announce at the end of the video or towards the end so stay until the end and you will hear about it so let's go ahead and get started so i already started my machine so i'm at 10 10 Let's make this a little larger. We're at 1010.224.217. Let me copy that and make sure I'm, I can ping it. All right, perfect. So I can ping. So just to make this quick, it took me about, I don't know, 30 minutes to compromise this, this room. And hopefully it's not that long. So let's go ahead and just do an LS. I have a user.txt. I'll get to that in a minute. And a library. So let's cat library just so I don't have to run nmap again. So we can see port 22, SSH open, and port 80. So let's go ahead and browse out to, uh, that's not my IP. So let's go ahead and go back. This was the IP that I was given when I did this room the other day. So let's go ahead and go to the new IP. All right, let's zoom this in. Boot to root machine. All right, so it's a whole bunch of gibberish. So what I did, I have this user, and then I have a few users down here, root, www, data, and anonymous. So what I did, I made a user list, like if we do ls cat users, we have these four users here. I just made a users list just to have my documentation from everything I found. So hopefully that makes sense so far. And what, you know, obviously I have my notes here, so what I can do now, let's go back to our browser. And anytime there's any kind of web app, I always do robots.txt, robots.txt, just to see if there's any uh, anything there. And we have RockU. This pretty much gave me a clue that we need to use a RockU.txt file uh, at some point, which makes sense, right? We have the users at RockU, so now, with those two, we can go about cracking the SSH, right? So we need to get SSH access into this machine. So now let's go ahead and use Hydra. So obviously I need to change this IP address. Let's go ahead and change this IP address to our IP address. And just for the sake of the video, I wanna go ahead, let's go back here and let's go ahead and just put this IP address. So this is the user that was found, right? So, and then the password list, rockyou.txt. This is where my rockyou.txt resides and we're using the service SSH, okay? So we'll let this do its thing and it's gonna start attacking our IP address at 10.10.224.217. And for the sake of the time, as you can see here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make, enter, bring this up a little bit and maybe make this a little larger. All right, so, I was able to find this user and find this password, I love you one, right? So let's go ahead and copy, I love you one. And while this is doing its thing, we'll, we'll get back to that. Like I said, just for the sake of the video, we don't have to go through all the stuff because I already went through the pain and we can get through this a little easier. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, not here, let's library, okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and SSH. And that's not my IP address, right? Uh, this is my IP address. Let's make sure we have the right IP. Okay. Uh, that's the IP. Uh, that's weird. That's interesting. Let's see what's going on. So let's copy this. Let's do SSH. Try this again, weird. Let's just do SSH. Yes. 
We don't have the root password, but let's go ahead and I love you one. It's not going to work because we have to. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and just exit this. All right. Let's try to do SSH. And that's the IP2. All right. There we go. Now, I love you one. Now I'm in. Okay. So now if we do an LS, we have this user.txt. So we can cat user.txt. And this is the first flag. So we can copy this flag. And you can see that it's there already, right? It's the same thing. All right. So now we just need to get the root flag. Let's go ahead and go back to the, let's, it hasn't cracked this, but I'll showcase that I love you one is the password. So this is the process. So the first thing we do right there, there we go. So it found it right there. I love you one. So the first thing we did was do the nmap scan. We can see that port 22 and port 80 is open. And then we can go ahead and go out and browse out to the IP address to see that little, uh, that little web page and it has some users. I put those users in that TXT. And when I was doing this, you know, this was the username that was uh, available with these credentials, right? So now what we can do is now we have to find the root flag, right? So let's go back to here. We now we need a root flag. So what we have to do is see if we can, the first thing we can do is like privesc, right? See what paths are available for a privilege escalation. And we can see here all passwords. So Python with this back, well, first of all, let's uh, go ahead and ls back.py. Let's cat back.py. Let's see what this is. All right. So it's just a file um, for our backups website. So it looks like the backups for the website and so on and so forth. So this, this file is Python is allowed to run as root, right? So now we can use this Python in order to use some malicious code, right? So what does that mean? Now we can just go ahead and, and remove this. I want to show you what I want to do. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do LS. Let's do RM dash F for force and then backup. All right, now we do LS, it's, that's gone, right? So now what we can do is let's go ahead and let's go to GF, GTF O bins, right? So now this is, you know, some kind of privesc and stuff like that. We can do sudo, right? We do sudo and let's actually type in um, Python, let's do Python. And then sudo, here we go. All right, so we can use sudo. This, this binary is allowed to run as a super user, right? So we can utilize this code right here and create a new script called back.py, right? So let's go ahead and do that, right? Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's go ahead and import. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do nano back.py okay and let's do in whoa import uh what would import uh import system or import os right and then whoops and let's just go ahead and copy this so we can just have this Import, sorry, I just want to, um, you know what? There's one that I have here on a, hold on, one sec. I want to actually look for one, one of my notes. It has, one second, I have to find it really quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, I was right. So it's OS. Let's go back to here. It's pretty much, it is this. So OS, it's pretty much the same thing. All right. So let's go ahead and paste this. Paste. All right. So in here, we can do space dash I for interactive. So I think that looks good from, no, let me do bash. I'm just seeing what my notes uh, that all looks good. Okay, perfect. So now I can do a control X. Yes, I want to save it. 
And now what I can do is sudo, well, actually let's do uh, sudo dash L, dash I, dash L, I mean, uh, I'm a little tired. All right, so what we could do is sudo, when you use this Python, right? So backslash, and then we're gonna go ahead and run this because this is the file that is allowed and boom, who are we? We're root now. Cool deal. So now we're here. Now let's cd to root ls and root.txt, right? So let's go ahead and cat out root.txt. I can type and bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. So we can copy this and we can go back to here and it's the same. And then voila, da ding, it's, it's done. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about this machine or this box or this room, uh, you know, leave a comment in the description below. So the big announcement, what I wanted to say is thank you to TryHack Me because they're allowing me to participate in the advert of Cyber 2023. So I'm going to be a part of that. So I have, you know, I have a day that they're going to, you know, allow me to do a walkthrough on one of their, on one of their walkthroughs. I did all of, you know, every single day last year. There were some challenging ones for sure, but it's definitely an awesome learning curve. So I hope I see you there participating in, you know, all the way from, I think, December 1st to December 23rd or 24th till Christmas. So uh, happy holidays. Once the holidays start coming up, remember, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, hopefully this, you know, this video is informative for you guys. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.